realize the moment oh, I we don't do that again. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Real Mist. I am your pants. This is Plus Ten Adventure. And we're gonna keep on playing this game. It's been just a few days since I played. But I believe we just finished the Chanwood Age. Is this the right one? Oh no. We need to load the right one. Previous visit. There we go. This isn't one of those games that just automatically loads what you were doing before. Okay, here we are. So, we've met Cirrus and Aknar. And, um, we're going to Channelwood, which is the age with the trees and the houses and the trees and lots of bridges and cool looking stuff. And we only found a red page. I'm not going to actually go and find the blue page. Um, not at the moment, because I'd like to go to a different age. So, we're going to go here. Which is the rocket ship! To go into the, what the code is in the tower for the rocket ship. Now, in one of the books, I already found a code for a piano or a keyboard, and I wrote that down, and hopefully, I wrote it down correctly. And I know that that has something to do with unlocking the age student to the rocket ship. Elevators. Right. So we can see the ship, so we know we're facing in the right direction. This is so complicated just to, to hide. 59 volts! Oh, I remember now. This one's a really complicated one to get into. Well, the ship, the stone ship age was pretty complicated because you had to come in here and find out the dates and then go into the other place and figure out which constellations match the dates. Oh, but this one you have to power up the rocket ship and then go into the rocket ship and do a sound-based puzzle to open it up. Which I imagine that would be really hard if you um, don't have a very good sense of tune. It might be particularly difficult. Luckily for me, I have a music background, so it's not going to be that bad. For me, um, there's a power line here. I think up, it, it's like a circuit breaker, you can actually, you can trip the circuit breaker, I'm just making sure it's set. You go over here. to this building. Cool. It's a generator. And this is really cool. Um, one of the reasons why I would recommend reading the books is because in the first book, in the book of Atreus, he talks about how as a kid he figured out to create a battery, so I would imagine that this is very similar to his original design. Alright, so this is 10 volts. This is 1, so I think it's 1, 2, 3, maybe not. 1, 2, 22. 1, 2, 22. This is a really weird system. Nine. Ten. 
So I have to do this correctly so that I equal 59 volts, because if I go over, I will trip the breaker, and then I'll have to walk back out, flip the switch, come back down. 16, 5, okay. Let's see here. I have to do a little bit of basic math. Let's do it this way. Let's start with a big number, 22. It's 22 right here. And 22 plus 5 Oh, let's see. This should be right. Let's see what happens if I can get into the ship now. Unfortunately, it's not an actual rocket ship. That would be pretty cool. Yeah! Now I can get in. Okay. Oh, there's a metronome. How nice. Okay. So, number one is mm, oh, I didn't write down all the keys. I think it's this one. Yeah. Two is here, and then three is here. Okay. That should be it. Check. three steps up. Should be that. And then... Four is here. See if this does it. <laughs> did I do it? Oh, I did it the first try. Good. Awesome. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, so instead of like having an actual book that you touch, it's the view screen in the ship. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. So now the keyboard doesn't work and it doesn't do anything. All right, I'm gonna save real quick. I think I'm out of saves. It's weird that they don't have multiples. There you go. Okay. All right, here we are. So this whole age is based off of sound puzzles and to unlock this door I have to find out the number order of the sounds around the island. So like this one for example which apparently is making me shake. 
So... This is the vent. Just have to make sure that it's turned on. Ugh, I'm stuck. There we go. And what's over here? Clock? I didn't think that this stuff moved before, so I really like the way that they change things around a little bit to make it, well, real. Huh. I, uh, the singing crystals. Uh-oh. Phew! <coughs> oh, it's spring. Spring in Korea. It's a combat between all of the pollen and dust blowing over from the Gobi Desert. Ugh. Got this thing, the wind thing. Go down here. Ah! Sorry, bats. Is there another light somewhere? Okay. Wasn't I over here already? Confused. Is this just the receiver? Oh. Okay. But there's one I haven't found yet. Which is the water one. So let's look for the water one. Alright, let's leave the lights on. going down. It's really pretty. There used to be a dock here. Let's run! Uh, gotta find... Wonderful little pond. Oh, I found a blue page. Right. Maybe there is not a red or a blue page in Channelwood. Maybe there's only a red page in Channelwood, and then there's only a blue page here. It's possible. It's a little dark. <laughs> Hard to see. Okay. Oh, go up there. Alright. Ah, I have to put it in the right spot. Oh, I know it's, it's flickering in my recording. I can see on my other monitor. I don't know how to fix that. Go back. No, this is a 
crystals. And the crystals are obviously pretty easy to find. It's hard, it's getting dark. this thing, this like heating There's that. Where's the water? It's the clock with the heating vent is near the water. Yeah, it's the heating vent. Oh, there it is. It was hard to see when it was dark. Stop flickering recording. That's really annoying. Okay, let's do it again. Crystals, water. Alright, that's the code that I needed. Let's get out of here. So, <coughs> excuse me. The code is the crystals, the water, the air vent, and then the heat vent. What's well, like a volcanic crack. And then the clock is last. Cool. run back and then we can open that door. And there it is, the door. Okay, so first is crystals. Oh no, go back. Okay. Then water. that one. This one. And then clock. Where's the clock? It's not bad. Oh, there it is. She right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now we're here. When I was a kid trying to do this puzzle, I got this far, and then the next part, like I'd never solve it. I never knew. I was probably a dumb kid. I didn't understand this puzzle at all. All right. So, oh no, I didn't want to go out. I'll sit down again. Okay. So there's a pattern to the sounds. Uh, again, sound.
And I can't remember what it is. I think one ding is forward. So now... This is like a boing. I don't remember what the boing means. Or maybe just a ding means that that's the wrong way. I don't know. So we can't go that way. go through the doors. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be rough. Forgetting that escape just opens the. Okay. forward or north okay that means go south came from? Does it make sense? Because if I go north and I just went south... <laughs> it's like, I can't obviously go this way. don't open. Oh, maybe it means west. Let's try that. Let's pretend Boing means west. So that must be go north. Okay. A 
kiss. Okay. Well, this is probably... Okay, it would be east. They have to show you how to solve the puzzle at the beginning. So go east again. Cowbell. Cowbell probably means to go south. I hope. Cowbell is south. Christopher Walken would be proud if that were true. Yes? We seem to be getting somewhere. Uh, the boing is go west. Cowbell and a Boeing, so southwest. Northwest. Well, you yeah, like my directions? Ding boing, hit boing. His cowbell. Kiss ding, northwest. We can't go northwest. Oh no, northeast. underground cavern going on here. Ding. Ooh. Are we there yet? Ooh. There's a little bit of a tilt here on the on the old roller coaster. Southeast. I feel like we're getting there. I feel like it's the end. Because of the dramatic way that we're going down the tracks. Oh yeah, I was right. Alright, let's go out. Let me out! Let me out! Come on, game. Let me out of the seat. <laughs> Let me out of the seat! How do I get out? There we go. Huh. Alright. Is this it? This is all that's in here? Yeah. Okay. What's down here? A glowing button. Ooh, a very ominous looking room that kind of looks like a generator. But it's actually just a book room. 
Alright, that was that wasn't so bad. Could have been a lot worse. I got a blue page. So let's see what uh Aknar has to say for himself. Angry man. Do not bring the red pages to him. Not let him trick you. Okay, he'll trick me. Trick the father. Idiotly murdered our father. He'll trick you. He'll murder you. Don't touch the pages. I beg you to bring the blue pages. Listen, you must obey me. I must obey you. Not listen to me, please. I must obey you. Ages are my only hope. You must help me. You must help me. Okay, I can't. Yeah, I can't. You're done. He's done. Okay, well, we're going to continue to bring pages to both of the brothers until uh, we see where that leads us. So, thanks for watching. Uh, we will continue next time with, uh, I think, this thing over here. It's a gear type whatever. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.